So, welcome to a brand new series, the Master League. And um, I'm taking over a club that's taken the world's uh, attention recently, uh, Real Oviedo. And I'm going to take them from where they are now, and hopefully by the end of this series we'll be at the, um, the very top of Spanish football. Right, so of course, one of your first jobs with a team like Oviedo is to improve the first team as quickly as possible. They're a team that's just come up into the Liga Adelante, so they're one of the weakest squads. So I wasted no time getting into the transfer market and picking up some great loan players and I managed to get both Joel Campbell and Hector Bellerin on loan from Arsenal for a whole season. So um, I was quite happy with that. And it was just as well that we made those signings because it wasn't long before we were thrown into our first game against Alche, a team that were essentially stronger than us, but not by too much. With the signings of Bellerin and uh, Campbell obviously strengthened our squad, as well as bringing in Raynan on loan and promoting Artman from the youth team to a first team place on the left side of midfield. It was a game where we kind of get a feel for the team as quickly as possible and hopefully get off to winning ways in the league at Adelante. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into our game of the day. Elche CF versus Real Oviedo. So, the teams are lined up in the tunnel for the first game of this Liga Adelante season. And neither team are going to want to concede any ground straight away. They're both going to want to get off to winning ways. And um, the fans in the stadium will feel exactly the same way. It's Oviedo's return to the Liga Adelante. And um, they'll want to make all the football fans that have been taking notice of them, they'll want to make them proud and show them that they really do mean business and that they're good enough to get straight back into La Liga at the first time of asking, realistically. And um, straight away, they're showing that they can play some good football. Kone finds Badia, who has a shot, and he finds a top corner with Real Oviedo's first shot of the season. It's good. It's straight in the top corner, and they all want over to celebrate. And what a fantastic start this is to the Real Oviedo story. Esteban, the goalkeeper and club captain, clearly happy with that there. It's a fantastic start to the season for them. And uh, understandably, Edu Badia is absolutely ecstatic. And uh, let's have a look at that again. It was a very clever build-up play there. Short passing. Kone could have turned his man. Instead, he finds Badia. Badia finds himself in space. Let's fly. And that is a great shot. And uh, there's not much the goalkeeper can really do about that. Pena now finds Artman, the youngster from the uh, Oviedo youth ranks. And um, he's been marked as one for the future. It'd be interesting to see what his develop development's like, both in this league and uh, potentially if they do manage to get themselves promoted, whether he manages to make the grade or not. Uh, it's always exciting when a player comes from the youth academy and uh, finds his way into the first team. And uh, Fans always want to see what they can do and uh, hopefully it will be a good story for him. But now Joe Campbell finds Bellerin. The two low knees linking up together. Bellerin cuts inside. Finds Artman who finds Jonathan Villa. Back to Bellerin. Finds Joel Campbell. What's Joel Campbell going to do with this now? Kind of footwork there near the edge of the box. Looks to find himself in some space. Can he get the shot away? He can't. And uh, it's a good challenge there. And uh, that attack breaks down. Martinez. Kone now. Finds Alvaro. Bellerin deals with that and it's a good solid header to get clear. Jonathan Villa now finds Joel Campbell. He's turned and he's running at the Alche defence now. And he plays a very good through balling. Kone couldn't quite make the most of that. And uh, Alche looked to get it away. Joel Campbell has in the defence. But uh, it takes it to Badia. Who's going to have another shot. And uh, doesn't quite find the back of the net this time. It's a goal kick now, and uh, Cheyun kicks it on the head of Jonathan Villa. Knocked down to Martinez. Looks to come through with the attack now. Jonathan Villa finds Joel Campbell. Good footwork to get away from his man there. He's cutting inside. Can he get the shot away this time? Oh, it's a great feint. And he's found the bottom corner. It's a debut goal for Joel Campbell. And the Oviedo fans will be absolutely delighted with this signing. What an impact he's made. He's been dangerous already on the ball. And... Uh, he doesn't need too many chances and uh, he'll definitely be looking to prove himself both to the Oviedo fans and also to the Arsenal boss when he goes back 
That's if Oviedo don't manage to sign him on a permanent. But as it stands, it's a great start for Joe Campbell. Uh-oh, Peña's let Alvaro go through. He's going to look to get that ball into the middle. No one's managed to take the ball off him. And he's managed to slot that through. And uh, that's poor defending from Oviedo. And luckily they're two nil, they were 2 nil up. But um, against tougher opponents, that sort of defending is definitely going to cost them. Reynan in midfield now. Plays it out to Artman. Looks to make inroads down that left side. He's taking his time. It's a clever pass inside to Badia. Bellerin finds Joel Campbell now. What can he do? He's found Kone. Is he on side? He is. And it's 3-1 to Real Oviedo. They come back immediately. And uh, after that disappointing goal that they conceded with some poor defender at the back, the front line is back on hand to bail them out. It's 3-1 to Oviedo. What a start to life in Adelante this has been. And again, that all starts with patient play in midfield, finding Joe Campbell in that little pocket of space. And um, it's a perfectly timed run from Kone. There were suspicions of offside there, but the flag stays down. And um, he doesn't need a second invitation. It's a debut goal for him as well. And um, he slots that into the far corner. 3-1. Esteban now. Throws only as far as Lolo. Goes back to Vergos. And... Uh, it's a fantastic challenge there, but the clearance again it's poor and hopefully Oviedo can hold on to this one. Now Jonathan Villa finds Artman. Now what can he do? Oh that's a fantastic through ball. And Kone gets there and he's chipped the defender. What a fantastic goal that is. It's 4-1 to Real Oviedo. It's a great finish from Kone, but what about the pass from the youngster Artman there? His debut after coming from the youth team and he shows instantly why they've picked him. What a pass that is. And that's vision that absolutely belies his tender years there. And uh, Esteban again, absolutely delighted. And uh, it's a great finish from Kone. But let's look again at this pass. Artman gets the ball out wide, spots the run of Kone. And that pass is perfectly directed, perfectly weighted. Kone uses his pace to get past the goalkeeper. And what a finish that is. That's not easy to do. He's off balance and he manages to chip that to the far post. Out of reach of the goalkeeper, out of reach of the defender, but what about that pass? That's two players absolutely in sync. And what a finish. Reyna finds Kone. Kone now, taking his time, finds Badia. Back to Kone, to Joel Campbell. Oh, he's turned his man. And is he going to finish that? He hasn't. But Kone mops up the scraps. And what good football that is from Oviedo. This is a team that can definitely play some football. The additions they've made into this team have absolutely set them apart from Alche today. Joel Campbell's been absolutely fantastic on the ball. And uh, the Oviedo boys are loving this. I bet they didn't think they'd get such a great start to the season. They're loving it. The fans are loving it. The managers are loving it. And again, look at this. Close quarters football. And uh, Joel Campbell makes absolute mincemeat of his defender there. Couldn't quite find the far post, but uh, Kone was on hand, right place, right time, and that is what you want from your strikers. And uh, in the hunt for promotion, that sort of predatory instinct is going to serve them well. Elche kick off now, and uh, they've got a job on if they're going to try and bring this back. And um, they're out now to Sefuente, finds Virgos. And um, he's managed to hold on to the ball there, and what a strike that is! Straight away from kickoff, they peg Oviedo back again, and um, it's 5 2. And I tell you what, this result is anybody's guess. Oviedo look irresistible up front, but at the back, they're um, to say they're leaky is an understatement there. And uh, Alche picking their pass, and uh, that's a very, very poor defending and a very easy finish. Verdes finds Hector Bellerin now. What can he do? He's using his pace to get past Espinosa. And uh, Espinosa's having none of that. It's a great challenge. And now Bellerin's out of position. And they're going to look to make inroads down their left hand side. Verdes is trying to cover, but doesn't quite have the same pace as Bellerin. Leon now 
is coming inside. Alvaro finds Virgos and the knockdown was fantastic, but he couldn't quite shoot through the wall of bodies. Now it goes to Kone. He plays a great three ball to Joel Campbell. What can he do? Can he get another goal before half time? He can. It's a great finish. He cuts in on his left foot and he finds the far post and it's 6-2 at the halfway point. What a fantastic game of football this has been. And again, it's a great counter-attack. And look at that one-touch football. Cheeky back heel finds Joel Campbell. He could have shot first time. Instead, he decided to cut back. Plays it by the numbers. Finishes in the far post. Keeper's absolutely nowhere near it. Right, the second half kicks off. And uh, Oviedo are going to look to build on that 6-2 uh, mauling in the first half. But they'll want to solidify their defence. They've shown some frailty at the back. And that would definitely give the manager something to think about in the transfer market. But straight away in the second half, we've got a goal. It's 7-2. And it's the youngster, Artman. And um, what a fantastic debut he's having. He's come straight in the team from the youth side. And um, he's got himself a fantastic assist. And um, he's going to have scored um, straight away from kickoff in the second half. And um, there's definitely some promise in this Oviedo side, that's for sure. And uh, there we go, we see Kone, turns out, doesn't rush the attack, and uh, makes sure he finds the right man. Probably quite fortunate to get through to Artman in all truth, but once he's there, takes it on his weaker foot, and uh, wastes no time finding the far post. Peña finds Badir in midfield now. Finds Joel Campbell, he's been a great creative force today, and he's found Kone. And also great turn in the box. He's beaten two of them. And uh, it's a fantastic reflex save from the goalkeeper there to keep him out. But what a great fizzing ball from Joel Campbell that is. And uh, Kony uses his great pace there. And uh, it's a great bit of footwork to cut in between the two defenders and get a shot away in his favoured right foot. And uh, takes a pretty good save with uh, the keeper's feet there to keep that one out. Joel Campbell's going to look to float this one in now. And uh, what can you do from this set piece? It's so a well floated in corner and Badia finds the bottom corner and uh, it's 8-2 to El Oviedo and uh, what a fantastic performance this has been. Badia's chipped in with two goals and um, it's, it's, a, it's a great start to life in the Adelante for them. And uh, let's have a look at his corner again. Floated in fantastically and he's risen like an absolute salmon and found the bottom corner. Lolo's got the ball now and a tackle from Reynan now. A uh, good sliding tackle has gone to the feet of Kone. And he's found Joel Campbell. Can he get there in time? No, Martinez has managed to pick that one up. And uh, it's gone out to Sharon Fuller. Head to Bellerin with a great challenge though. Finds Joel Campbell again. Is he going to find Bellerin? No, he's cut back inside. And uh, he's held off Lolo there. He has a strike and that is crashed off the crossbar. What a fantastic effort that was. And uh, how unlucky was that? Let's just have another look at that there. He's turned away from Lolo. And uh, Lolo's managed to catch him up. But he's used his great strength there just to keep him away. And um, he's found himself a good few yards of space. He's rifled the shot in. Keeper's absolutely beaten there. And uh, luckily for Alche, the crossbar comes to the rescue. Goal kick there now for uh, Alche. And um, it's been a great performance from Oviedo. And... Um, there we go, they've managed to win this one 8-2 away from home in their first game in the Liga Adelante and what a fantastic start to things this has been for them. They'll be delighted. Right, so a great performance from the boys and one that puts us top of the table but it was clear to me that we definitely need to um, make some signings in defence to strengthen this team up. And I had a couple of players in mind but um, before I could conclude any of the deals we were in action again against Girona and um, this time the side was a little bit different. Um, Joel Campbell was um, on pretty bad form. So uh, we decided to give him a rest and bring on Hervias. Um, and hopefully we could get a result with him. So things got off to a great start after some uh, great work from Kone. Um, and a fizz ball into the box. Uh, found its way to Artman to get himself two goals in as many games for the youngster. And um, it's looking like a great start to his Oviedo career. And uh, some great work from Artman made that possible. And uh, it was looking like business as usual for the Oviedo boys. 
and uh, it didn't take long for Hervias to set Kone through in goal for him to make the second pretty much from kickoff and uh, Girona was sinking absolutely without a trace. Oviedo were then uh, knocking on the door quite a lot during the uh, first half but couldn't make a breakthrough until this absolutely brilliant passing move from the back all the way through to the front finds its way to Artman and um, he's proven himself to be quite clinical and uh, also quite handy on his right foot which you wouldn't guess was his weaker foot and uh, it makes that 3-0 to Oviedo just before half time. Some bad defending in the second half allowed Girona to come back but uh, it wasn't long before Artman and Kone combined again and some great footwork and a really confident finish from Kone sealed the result 4-1 for Real Oviedo and um, it was the icing on the cake for a very very good performance from us that sealed our second win in as many games and kept up our 100% record in Liga Adelante. So that result left us top of the table after two games and uh, before we got into the third game we finally managed to conclude two very very good transfers we managed to get Chambers and Reese Oxford both from West Ham on permanent deals for uh, two very young and quite promising defenders um, that definitely improved the back line here at the Oviedo team. Alright, so the third and final game of the month against Lagana saw a return to the first 11 for Joel Campbell and also debuts for both Chambers and Reese Oxford at centre half. The midfield changed a little bit, Reynan got a rest and um, Ongba comes in um, alongside Jonathan Veer. Artman keeps his place on the left hand side and uh, hopefully we can make it 3 for 3. There was a fair bit of hype at the uh, start of the match about Joe Campbell's return to the side and um, whether he'd been dropped unfairly and um, it didn't take him long for him to make his impact with an assist for a great goal by Artman and um, it was 1-0 to Oviedo and it looked good. It wasn't long before the second came, Artman pressuring them very well at the back and a great bit of feet allowed him to find space to find the shot and it was 2-0 and um, Artman was really announcing himself on the big stage. Joe Campbell cut inside trying to find a third and Badia tried to snatch on the rebound. It took him a second bite of the cherry to make it 3-0 and um, Laganas came close on a couple of occasions but it didn't take long for Joe Campbell to finally get himself a goal running through the defence from the halfway line and finishing confidently to seal the result at 4-0. Right, so that result left us 9 points from 3 games, left us top of the table with Real Zaragoza uh, just in behind us. And uh, they're a team you've definitely got to watch. They haven't conceded a single goal yet in the Liga Adelante and they will definitely be looking for a return to top flight football. And um, our team report came in and um, it shows 3 wins, obviously no draws, no losses. And uh, Kone... Um, doing very well in terms of stats and output and uh, Artman also chipping in with five goals in three games Badia with three in three and uh, Kone also getting five assists in those three matches as well which is a ridiculous output to get five goals and five assists in three games um, and getting an average 7.3 rating with Joel Campbell not far behind with a 7.0 and some more detailed player stats from the last month shows that uh, despite the goals and assist rankings, Edu Badia was by far the most important player for us in those three games, uh, leading the team in dribbling, passing, passes received, tackles won and aerial battles won. Despite him not being a particularly defensive player, he was absolutely fantastic in all those areas of the pitch only losing out in the shooting where obviously Kone and Artman were fantastic uh, getting five goals each. And of course, not a surprise to see the likes of Artman, Badia, Kone and Joel Campbell all make the team of the month for August in the Liga Adelante. Fantastic. And just before the month was out, we managed to sign Tyler Blackett from Manchester United on a permanent deal. Um, it was a great bit of business really uh, considering he was only someone that I was looking at as a backup for Oxford and Chambers um, he now comes into the squad and he's going to be our first choice left back 
but won't make his debut until the next episode. But if you've enjoyed this, um, it's the start of uh, a pretty regular series that I'm hoping to bring to you guys. If you've enjoyed this part of the Rare Laviedo story, hit like, show some support for the series, share it. Uh, leave some comments below about what you thought, how I can improve the series. And um, until next time, thank you guys for watching. Take care and peace.